Hello. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to terminate an MPO splice-on connector utilizing the R5 all-in-one ribbon splicer. First, turn your machine on. Next, wait for your screen to come to the main screen. Make sure all of your parameters are set correctly. In this case, they are, but if you do need to change them, press Menu, Splice, select your fiber type. Select, and close. Heat, select again what type of heat shrink you are performing. Select, close, and then close back to your main screen. Next, set up your connector. Each connector comes with the ability to terminate to 12 fiber round or 12 fiber flat ribbon. For demonstration purposes today, we will be terminating to the 12 fiber ribbon. Take your back boot, install it onto your fiber. Take your front shell, remove your spring and your heat shrink, installing your spring, and then your heat shrink tube, then placing your fiber inside of the left side holder, leaving a one inch tail for stripping. Then open both your left and right stripper door, placing your holder in, making sure it's firmly pushed forward, closing your left door first, making sure that the hinge snaps, and then your stripper door. Then open your left door, Remove your holder, and then open your right door. Next, take your cleaner, clean your fiber. Gently fanning your fiber. Open your cleaver door until it engages. Open your trash bin. Place your holder inside, pressing firmly forward. Close your trash bin, close your cleaver door to press your button. Again, opening your cleaver door until it fully engages. Remove your holder, opening your wind cover, and inserting your fiber. With your MPO 10 connector holder, open your door Take your connector, insert into the connector holder, closing your door. Your door should easily close. If not, open your holder and readjust your connector. Place within your splicer. Close your wind cover and allow your fiber to align. Once you've come to your pause, make sure your gaps and your offsets are okay. If they are not, they will be red. Once they are okay, you can either press your lightning bolt or your set button to start the process. Once complete, open your wind cover, allow your tensile test to be performed. Once the screen comes back to your main screen, open your left side first, allow the tension to be released, 
bringing your heat shrink up, opening your connector door next, gently remove your connector and allow it to hang freely. Bringing your splice sleeve up, open your oven, place your connector inside the oven. Close, turn on your oven. Once your light goes out, you can open your oven, remove your connector and place in the cooling tray. Close your oven doors. Allow your connector to cool for a minimum of 10 seconds. Next, bring your back boot and your spring all the way up to the back of the connector, making sure that your spring is fully seated within the four posts of the back boot with your thumb and index finger, pinch the back of your connector, removing your dust cap. Take your front shell, insert your connector, firmly grabbing the back and front of the connector, push together until it snaps. This completes this video. Thank you.